Let them alone, says the Lord. They are blind and guides of the blind. Matthew 15, verse 12. Then the disciples came to him and said, Do you know that the Pharisees were offended at your word? He said to them, Every plant that my heavenly Father has not planted will be uprooted. Let them alone. They are blind and guides of the blind. And if a blind man leads a blind man, both of them will fall into the pit. Oh, how many have been scandalized by the words of all those of us who are confronting false doctrines, heresies, illicit and apostate orders, and the hypocrisies of the corrupt hierarchy of our church, more specifically, George Mario Bergoglio. We are hearing a new modern gospel that does not preach repentance that speaks too much of false mercy, that has relaxed the commandments of God and no longer judges, but does allow sexual disorder. This man is showing himself to be more merciful than God in this. But God being merciful is not an accomplice of sin. He looks first at everything in his justice. Since this new alleged gospel is distorted, which exalts man above God, which disregards the divine warnings by preaching an illusionist message of a new world that will not come, which speaks of ending poverty, although this is impossible. The Lord himself said it in Mark 14, verse 7, because you will always have the poor with you. This new gospel tries to entertain us now with the idolatry of Mother Earth, the veneration of, and worship of the Pachamama, and everything that irritates the justice of God and makes him respond with pandemics, as he has done on this occasion. How unfortunate we are in this generation that has seen the light of the false prophet, of which St. Paul warns us. Galatians first verses 7 to 9. Some are turning to another gospel, which is really no gospel at all. Evidently, some people are throwing you into confusion and are trying to pervert the gospel of Christ. But even if we or an angel from heaven should preach a gospel other than the one we preach to you, let them be under God's curse. We have told you before and now I tell you again, if anyone preaches to you a gospel other than the one you received, let him be accursed. So what has happened to the majority of learned theologians, cardinals, bishops, and priests, who in the face of all these lies have not said anything? It so happens that they have approved the spiritual blindness of Jorge Mario Vergoglio, and consequently the Lord has allowed them to harden their hearts. They have become blind as their shepherd. So the Lord, referring to them, warns us in Matthew 15, verse 14, Let them alone, they are blind, guiding the blind. And if a blind man leads a blind man, both of them will fall into a pit. So, what has happened to them? They themselves have been put to the test and have not known how to respond the way God wants, because they have put a man above God. They have practiced papalism, by which they justify themselves before a false doctrine, because they accept everything that comes from that man, thinking that God will always be with his church until the end of time, and that they must have fidelity, much obedience even to the one who is disobeying God's commandments, and is also counseling them away by approving immorality and idolatry. They are truly blind, blinded by their complicity, by their total partiality towards Bergoglio, by their hypocrisy, 
that prefers to support evil than to confront a usurper of Peter's chair. They wash their hands and go on as if nothing is happening. And we lay people. What should we do? Let us listen very carefully to what Jesus teaches us in Matthew 15, verse 14. Jesus says, Jesus commands, leave them. They are blind in guise of the blind. It is not disobedience to stop obeying or, or submitting to someone who is disobedient. It is the same as a wife who, knowing that her husband is an adulterer, continues with him and harms her life, deceiving herself by trying to be faithful to an unfaithful man. God has not commanded us to be obedient to a servant of evil. What many followers of Bergoglio do is false obedience, because they know beforehand that he is doing wrong and they approve of it. They become accomplices and therefore they are doing wrong. They will not be justified by obedience, no. On the contrary, they will be judged by the same obedience that calls us to obey God first, before any human being that leads us to sin. And for all those who are shocked to hear these apologetic words within the Catholic Church, Jesus tells us in Matthew 15, verse 13, Every plant that my heavenly Father has not planted will be pulled up by the roots. This word gives us great relief because the thirst will be separated from the wheat at the end of the harvest and will burn in the eternal fire that is prepared for the false prophet and the beast. Revelation 19 verse 20. But the beast was caught together with the false prophet who did miraculous signs in his presence by which he deceived those who received the mark of the beast and worshipped his image. Both were thrown alive into the lake of fire and brimstone. Note, the beast is formed by the new ideologies of the modern world that moves away from God and promulgates atheism, gender ideology, and all points of the UN agenda. That is approved by Bergoglio, since he himself has said that we have to obey the United Nations. Dear brothers and sisters, let us pay close attention to what is happening in the church, for it has a mortal cancer that makes it suffer. Only Christ with his second coming can heal the church to begin with the new heaven and the new earth. Everything will be renewed through a punishment from God to establish the new heavens and the new earth. Glory to God for his divine will. If you like this video, please give us a like, subscribe to our channel, The Work of God, share on social networks, and don't forget to leave your valuable comments. How do you like this reflection? God bless you.